All right, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to use our new custom builder to customize any of our designs and make a really unique jersey for your team. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to apply to any of our different uh, products on here. You'll see a customize button. Um, you choose this, and this is what starts the, uh, the, the custom builder. And the first thing that you'll notice are the different fabrics that are going to be available for each style. style. So this particular style has three different options. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose the Premium Dazzle. And once you've chosen the fabric, then you're going to be able to come in and start to customize the, the design. So you'll see as I'm bringing my cursor over the different color swatches, that it gives you a preview of what that style will look like if you were to choose that uh, that color for that that particular part of that design. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be for the collar, and this is going to be for the other part of the body. This is going to be the uh, the brand logo. And once we've chosen the colors then you're going to be able to customize the decoration areas. And this uh, particular decoration option is for the team name, and you'll see there's four different locations available. So you can choose any or all of the locations, um, or you don't have to choose any. So for this one, let's go ahead and choose this area for the team name. And so you have a choice to choose from different um, sizes. We'll go with a medium. Here you can choose any of our fonts. We almost have uh, an endless selection of fonts available here. Um, let's go ahead and choose this. Choose your font color. If you wanted to use an outline, you can uh, use any of the uh, swatches here for the outline. We're just going to go ahead and skip that for this. So again, you can go in and choose any of these areas to add another uh, team location. You can also go here and uh, edit, make any changes to the team, the font, the color, or you can actually clear this area out if you decided not to use it and use another one or not use any at all. So let's just go ahead and go to the next step, which is the player name. And here you can see the two different location options. We're going to go ahead and cho choose this area. Type in our player name. Uh, choose from the different size options. Stay with the same font, font color. Actually, let's use an outline for the back. Um, and then let's just go ahead and move to the player number. Choose the center back, enter a number. Let's stay with that size, go back with the same font, font color, and let's do an outline back here also. And it's that easy. So you can choose this uh, different location if you wanted to add a number here on the front or the side or the, um, the shoulder. Uh, at any point you can go back through here and change or edit these locations. Um, or you can move on to the uh, to the last decoration step, which is the team logo. So let's go ahead and do that. And so you'll see a pop-up. It's basically saying that this is just kind of a mock-up to give you an idea of what that particular uh, design would look like. Um, understanding that you may not have a print-ready file. Um, maybe it needs to be moved a little bit based on the font or the size of your logo or the shape. Um, but uh, all that will be done during the next step. Once you place your order, you'll work with one of our representatives. They'll do a digital uh, mock-up that you'll approve, which will then move on to production and we can get a sample to you uh, for your approval and um, go directly into production and play, process your order all within uh, just a matter of a couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and do the, uh, the team logo. Uh, I want to put that on the front here. And we will choose the team logo. And you can see here, uh, this 
this particular area, obviously, there's not a lot of real estate there, um, so we can only choose from the, the default size, which is small, and um, that's it. We can preview the front and the back here, and um, then we can move over here to the to the player roster option. Here's where you would enter all of your player names and player information. So, for example, you can just enter um, them in manually through our form here. So let's try that, Smith, um, Smith 11, and then you can choose the size, and then that's gonna be added to the overview. You can add another individual player, you can add 10, um, you can clear the whole list. You can also go back and use our template, and if you do, this is gonna clear out the, uh, the manual form here and it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna reset that? Yes, we understand that, let's go back and we can show you how our roster works. Really simple, you would download the template. I'll show you what the template looks like here. Um, it's gonna be pre-populated with a couple of examples so you can uh, just go ahead and copy and paste your team player names, uh, their number and their size and once you're done with that then you would just upload the roster and then you can see here where all that information is just carried over already and processed in the order so the next step after the team uh, the player roster is an overview and this is where you can um, uh, see you know the custom design that you created you can save it if you wanted to show somebody um, here's a, a mock-up of the front and the back here with all the decoration um, details and the logo that we uploaded. Um, you can also share it with somebody. Just enter their email address and they'll receive that same preview that I just showed you. Um, if you had a question about a particular uh, customization or something that you've done here or if you're looking for just a maybe a quote, um, maybe you're not sure what the player names and sizes are, um, you can just use this option here, which is contact us. Just type in your name, email, phone number, team name, and uh, how we can help you. And we can, um, you know, we'll get, we'll receive the mock-up and then we'll get right back with you to answer any questions you have. And then lastly, if you're ready to check out and place your order, it's just as simple as just clicking the add to cart um, it's going to say, are you sure you want to add to cart? Yes. Are you sure you want to leave? You, none of your changes may be saved. Yes, I understand. And then just like any other online e-commerce website, um, you can see where I've been testing a couple of different um, mock-ups here. And my, um, you know, all these have been added. But uh, you'll just see the one option here in your shopping cart and then you would just simply go to checkout and complete your order and it's that simple.